finally got my more skid sticker in not a red one but whatever it's a sticker so I'm gonna show my support Alright, for today's episode, we're going to start on this wide body. I got the sheet metal I need. Scary. And uh, I can cut out not only the side kind of air boxes that I'm going to make out of cardboard first and then trace them to the, you know what I mean. Anyway, I can make those out of this, but I also am going to have to like... Uh, you know what I mean there's gonna be a strip of metal here to widen the fender out where I need it Ooh, it's hot so I'm gonna cut that out of that there's also gonna be kind of like a little standoff piece of metal to hold the fenders out where I need them and then right here where this piece comes in like this that's obviously gonna create kind of like a hole right here so I'm gonna have to make a patch panel for that I'll probably have to make a patch panel to seal in the old gas lid but that'll cover that what i need to do is start on the cardboard templates for the side panels and the strips and the patch panels i also still need to clearance these a little bit more i'm still getting some rub but again i painted inside here so i'll be able to see where i'm rubbing i think what i'm going to end up doing is actually cutting this up some more and then bending the inner up so it's more of out of the way you won't be able to see it because the outer fender is going to be over it but for right now what i really need to do is pick which of these fenders i'm going to use lay them out and get the aircraft stripper spread out on it so it can be bare metal to match the rest of the car because i don't want to do it once it's on the car it's all very good you know what i mean so that's what we're doing today i'm gonna get that started and then um go from there all right right off the bat i can kind of tell this one's got some dents in it which i'm kind of bummed about because i got these red ones for free off of the uh first miata go-kart and i paid for these which i just i i don't know i grabbed them just because they were a good price and i figured i could just beat them out with a hammer but they're pretty beat up they've got some pretty bad gouges and these are going to be bare metal so i really don't want any excessive hammer marks this one has a little rust but i can easily patch that unfortunately this one same thing it's got a bunch of bad dents and there's already some bondo so i don't want to get it down to the bare metal and it's really beat up so i'm going to go with the red ones so it's time to strip those down get them stripped of all paint and then i can uh patch this panel this little rust hole here patch that and then um go from there but for now i'm going to get these gray ones out of the way we're going to spread the red ones out and start stripping the paint not my not not me now you may be able to find stripper that claims it's super aggressive or that it's more industrial strength or whatever but if it doesn't say aircraft remover like it will remove an aircraft then it's not going to work this paint is by far some of the toughest paint i've ever experienced not only is there paint but then there's primer underneath this and then there's some kind of metal treatment underneath the primer that even after you strip this twice normally you're still going to have to wire wheel the primer off of this it just will not come off i've tried that's how i got the car to look like this it's tough this stuff is some badass paint so definitely get aircraft remover i haven't tried the rust-oleum brand before i've always used the bondo brand or whatever but it's pretty much the same chemical mixture so definitely buy this stuff it's worth the money it eats through latex gloves let's just put it that way so maybe double glove it triple glove it maybe even use some leather gloves some dishwashing gloves or even chemical gloves because this stuff is bad ass and it is acid based so you don't want to just risk it So that's starting to work pretty well definitely don't get it on your skin it itches like kind of burns a little but you can see the paint actually 
peeling up. And you basically do that all over until you have nothing but bare metal. As you can see, once it, it peels, you literally just scrape the paint right off. And then you just keep doing this until there's nothing but bare metal. And then once we get it down to straight metal, I can then um, wash these off to cancel the acid and then I can hit them with a wire wheel to give them the grain effect like my car has and then we can uh, start mounting them.